Alliance. So the fact that it's not just that the Indian Space Agency has done something new, it's that they're literally breaking new territory in doing so. I think that that adds to the sense of, mm-hmm. of a country that that's leading the world in this. Now, India has just launched a mission to space, but this time not to the moon. That was a week ago. This time to the sun. Aditya L1 launched shortly before midday with a live broadcast showing hundreds of spectators cheering wildly against the deafening noise of the rocket's ascent. Now, the mission is carrying scientific instruments to observe the sun's outermost layers in a four-month journey. This is the latest mission in India's very ambitious ambitious and quite sort of assertive space program. Well, it's a telescope that will stare at the sun from a position between the Earth and the sun, which is a good place to be. Um, The particular science objectives are to look at the sun's outer atmosphere, what we call the corona, which we normally only see in a total eclipse from here on the Earth. Uh, But from space, you could block out the light from the disk of the sun and study this complex region where you have solar flares and, and what we call space weather. Uh, which is the solar wind and material being ejected into the solar system that can have practical effects when it hits us here on Earth. We see the northern lights, indeed the the southern lights, but it can affect satellites, it can affect telecoms. So trying to understand this space weather is a big objective of many space agencies, many uh, solar physicists, and this new mission will be part of an international effort to do that. And so is the plan that the the intelligence and the information that this Indian team gathers, will that be shared internationally? Yes, I think so. I mean, lots of these missions, although they're obviously part of a a programme to promote national prestige and to promote uh, technological uh, advances and high-tech business, India is very proud in particular that the instruments on board this mission were homemade, if you like. And the scientific data is shared. We have a European mission and a a NASA mission at the minute, which are both plunging close to the sun over the next few years. And this will sort of give us a broader picture. So those missions can work in harmony. And as as is common with most um, international scientific endeavours, the data will be shared uh, and we'll attack these problems together. Interesting. So rather than the classic sort of competitive space race, this might be a bit more um, collaboration. And of course, this comes just a week after India's very successful uh, mission to, to the moon. How big a deal w- was that landing for, for India and for, for science? Well, I think it, it was an enormous deal for, for India, in particular in Israel, the Indian Space Agency have trumpeted it as a major success. I think you can see the profile of that mission in India was enormous. And the fact that the prime minister was immediately on the screen at mission control at the moment of touchdown on the lunar surface and has visited since. I think it, it's really seen as a, a prestige moment for India um, joining the high tech club of nations. There's been a lot made of the fact that only four countries have ever landed something successfully on the lunar surface and there have been other other failures so there is a flavor of all i talked about science and collaboration there is a flavor of space race here particularly going to the moon where we saw a recent failure of a, a russian probe where there's a japanese probe on the launch pad waiting to go and uh, indeed many more commercial american missions in the next year planned as well um from a science point of view the exciting thing about the chandrayaan 3 mission this lunar probe is that it landed closer to the lunar south pole than we've ever been before uh, and down there we know there are places where there is water preserved in the bottom of craters that never see the sun and if we ever send crew uh, send people back to the moon as as china is planning to do and and america and allies have plans to do as well it will be this region that people are excited to explore so the fact that it's not just that the Indian Space Agency has done something new. It's that they're literally breaking new territory in doing so. I think that that adds to the sense of, mm-hmm. of a country that that's leading the world in this.